Hey guys, today is Tuesday, December 19th, so today I'm coming at you from another day in Hong Kong, but I'm actually sitting at a restaurant right now called Feng Xing Restaurant. So this restaurant, I looked it up, I had quite a lot of reviews, and uh, it was highly recommended because it's a place where many locals go eat as well, and I definitely wanted to try it. Seeing how I have a couple hours left before I have to head to the airport to catch my flight to Australia. So before I leave Hong Kong though, I want to get a meal and also give you a tour of the place that I stayed at before we head to the airport. So they handed me this English menu and these are recommendations of what to order. So they have dim sum here and then they also have lunch and dinner and two desserts. But unfortunately, the roast pork, it looks like I couldn't get the roast pork since they sold out, so I'm kind of sad. But and I don't even know if I can get this dessert because it says need to reserve. But from how this restaurant is laid out though, um, it's not a very big restaurant. So if you're with a smaller party, you'll most likely have to share a table probably during peak hours. So you can see like how big the restaurant is. But they have quite a bit of tables here. And then they do have some people that speak English. Alright, so here is what I ordered so far. So here is our hakao, which is our shrimp dumpling. Here is our fried shrimp toast with a little bit of salad on the side. Here is our chicken feet. Here is our simai, which is like pork and shrimp dumplings. And then I wanted to try some fried rice here as well. I may order more, seeing how um, I think I can eat all of this. I thought it was going to be a lot because I ordered a shrimp toast platter, but I didn't expect it to be only two. Alright, I'm going to dig in. i try the fried shrimp toast first. Looks crispy. You get one pretty big piece of shrimp as well. Mm. Really good. Light, flaky, not too oily. You get a good piece of shrimp. It's good. I wish I had some sweet and sour sauce with it. That would be a little bit better. So the next piece I'm gonna try is the simai, which is our pork and shrimp dumpling. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is good. It is like just as good as uh, when I ate dim sum earlier at Tim Hoan. It is good as well. You get nice porky meat, uh, some shrimp at the top, and the wrapper is soft, steamed. Oh, Alright, our next piece is going to be our shrimp dumpling, which is shrimp on the inside, and there should be a wrapper on the outside. Oh, look at that big piece of shrimp in there. It looks like they cut huge pieces of shrimp in here, unlike some places I've been to. So you get like two big pieces of shrimp inside your dumpling, which is pretty awesome. So the only thing I have is the chicken's feet, which you're gonna have to learn how to spit bones out. But this looks good as well. Skin super soft and tender, not too chewy. The flavor is good. Oh, this place is legit. So here we have is our bowl of fried rice. This is the only thing I have left to finish. This one's interesting. I never had fried rice with it looks like tomatoes in here. There's shrimp. There's green onion, and there's barbecue pork as well. Let's take a spoonful of this house fried rice. Let's take a bite. Flaming hot. So you get good barbecue pork, uh, shrimp in there, vegetables, the rice texture is a lot different. I don't think I've had this kind of rice before, but the grains are pretty thin. But this fried rice is not oily at all. It's good. Alright, so I'm pretty much all packed up right now, so I'll give you the tour of the place that I stayed at. So let's go take a peek. So we gotta turn on the lights. Okay, so there's a shower in here. Um, there's also a clothes rack. There's two kinds if you want to just shower under this thing or just use the shower head. And then if you want to, if you're an exhibitionist, you can open the window and shower. Here's the kitchen area. So they have uh, pots, pans, 
uh, cups, all the utensils you need. They have an induction oven here that you can turn on. It's touch screen. They'll teach you how to use it. Ventilation as well to get rid of the smell. And then here we go. These are all the rooms. Uh, here's a fridge for you to use. But this is my room where I stayed. So you can see how wide it is. So I have a medium sized suitcase here. This is not the largest size. Um, it's basically about two in length or maybe two and a half. But here's the desk area and how tall this thing is. It's basically my height. So I think I'm like 5'8 or 5'9. So literally my head is just there. So if you're much taller than I am, then like probably sucks. But uh, most Asian people are short, so it's handy. So here is my ladder. And I climb this every night. And then here is my bed. So here is my pillow, my blanket. There's a fan right behind me as well. For my height, I can fit in this bed perfectly, but if you're taller than me, your feet might actually just dangle off, so that might piss you off. Also, for my height, which is perfect, is I can sit up, just almost all the way up, but I won't hit my head. So if you're taller than me, that sucks too. So there's tall people problems. So sorry if you're tall, but it is what it is. But that concludes our tour and now we're going to head off to the airport now. Alright, so we're waiting now at the bus to the airport. So throughout Hong Kong there are A routes signifying with A, 21, 22 and stuff throughout Hong Kong. So the bus fare will run you about 33 Hong Kong dollars which is about like 4 bucks, 4 bucks in the US. Uh, in order to get to the airport. The route goes every 15, maybe about 18 minutes, so be sure to look at the timetable, make sure uh, you have enough time in order to get to the airport. But for me, I have about two hours-ish, so hopefully I'll make it in on time. 